This team has worked harder than any group of people I've ever seen over the last year to build Solar Miner. Team number 42, Missouri S&T is pulling into the parking lot. We came into this race with an attitude of, we built the best car we could have built. This car is our dream car and it's going to outperform everything we could have ever hoped. This team has faced so many catastrophes this year. We've kind of bounced back from every one of them in ways I could have never expected. Solar cars might not seem like the most practical thing, and it's not a car you would want to drive to pick up groceries. So even though the concept of a solar car isn't directly practical, so many of the things that we build here build a foundation for the things that we'll use the rest of our lives in industry. Solar Miner, without a driver, weighs about 450 pounds. It's got a top speed of 65 miles an hour. The solar cells put out about 1,300 watts. It's a custom layout that we designed and had manufactured for our team. We've got 20 kilograms of lithium ion batteries that are actually the same cells used in a Tesla. And those batteries can give us about 200 to 250 miles of range, depending on the terrain we're on. After having even just a year or a semester of design team experience, the moment you go into an interview with a potential employer and you say solar car, you say Mars rover, their ears just perk up. It's just insane to see what a reaction you can get out of uh, being involved in one of these teams. We came in on the fly and we had to learn how to race and we did that really, really well. After six years of not racing, we made it through and that means that from here on out, we've got that knowledge continuity. We can build on this race for years to come and uh, get back on the road for World Solar Challenge in 2017 and really do everything we can do to really be one of the best teams in this country again.